Today we're going to build a really simple app to track our expenses. Now we already have an Excel file with some transactions, which is great, but using the Excel file is a bit cumbersome. It would be much better and more fun if we had an app for this, so let's build it. We'll start a new project in Glide and upload this Excel file as our data source. Glide creates a basic app as a starting point based on the data in our tables, and if we look in the data editor we can see and edit these two tables. The categories table is there to help us create reports, and we don't actually need to use it in our project just now, so we can remove this tab that Glide automatically created for it. Now Glide's created a list for us based on the data in our table. We can choose different styles for this list, and because this is an app to track our expenses over time, we can use the calendar layout. We'll configure this list to show the category, the date, and the amount that we spent, and then sort this list to show the newest items first. Next, we'll enable adding to this list, and if we click on this button, we're taken to an add screen. Now, Glide has automatically added entry fields to this screen to match the columns in our table, and it's almost perfect. Let's just add an image picker component and link the component to the image column in our table. Before submitting this expense, we want to be able to categorize it. Now, currently we have a field that we're just typing any old value into, but we actually have a set number of specific categories that we want to use. These are the ones that are in our categories table. We really don't want to type a category each time because one, we might forget the different types of categories and we also might make a typo. It would be much better if we could just pick one from a list. And the best way to do this is to add a choice component. The choice component needs a list of items for the choices, which will be the categories table, and then a location where the choice will be written to, which is the category column in our transactions table. Let's test this now by adding a new transaction. Perfect. Let's click on this new item that we just added. We now see all of the details of this transaction. Glide has added some basic components for us based on the columns in our table, but we can change and customize this screen however we like. Let's keep the image and remove everything else. The basic table component is really good at showing lots of values in a neat and compact way, so let's add this and configure it to show all the details that we want to see. Now there's a lot more that we could do with this screen, but for now, let's keep it as is. One final thing that we can do to enhance this app, however, is to add a chart to a separate tab. Let's create a new tab and call it Summary. We'll choose the Details layout, delete all the components on this screen, and then add a chart component. We'll make sure that this chart component is connected to the data in the transactions table, and then choose pie chart as the style. We want this pie chart to show the spending for different categories, so we'll choose the category as the label, and the amount spent as the quantity. Now our pie chart shows our expenses broken down into categories. So that's a very simple expense tracker with Excel and Glide.